Hello, this is Jeff from Baron Leathercraft. So today we're going to take a look at the Akmer P3. This is their 48 watt enclosed laser and spoiler alert, I like it. I've already got it set up on my shelf and it's probably going to stay there. You're not going to see a full unboxing here. I mean, you get the usual stuff, power cord, air assist, honeycomb, all that. I'll flash through what's in the box real quick, but we're not going to dwell on it. What matters is how it actually performs, and we'll be testing it on wood, some thick wood, acrylic up to 9 millimeters, and of course we'll be doing leather as well. So let's get into it. One of the standout features of the Acmer P3 is its ability to switch between 48 watts and 24 watts, depending on what you're working on. What's great about that is you can do all your engraving at 24 watts, where you get that super fine spot size, 0.07 to 0.09 millimeters. And then when it's time to cut out your design, you just flip the switch and jump up to 48 watts. Honestly, in engraving mode, this thing still outperforms some of my 10 watt lasers. Another thing that really sets this machine apart is the Core XY motion system. It uses two motors working together on the same plane, which gives it that CNC level precision, especially when it comes to things like drawing smooth curves or perfect circles. With traditional gantry systems, you sometimes get subtle wobble or distortion when both axes move at once, but Core XY minimizes that, so everything stays tighter and cleaner, even at higher speeds. Let's go over some of the built-in safety features that come with the ACMA P3. There are eight of them in total. Enclosed and smart cover, class one safety certification, over temperature protection, flame detection, tilt protection, extraction fan, limit protection, safety lock, and emergency stop. The built-in top-down camera is another nice touch. It lets you line up your artwork right inside light burn without having to guess or do a bunch of test burns. And because the whole machine is fully enclosed and class one safe, there's no need to buy a separate enclosure. All the smoke and fumes can be funneled straight out the window using the built-in exhaust system. This is something I haven't seen built into a laser yet. It's called micro airflow mode. And it says that it generates a weak airflow that effectively prevents smoke backflow, protecting the lens and extending the module service for life. Inside the machine you have a slot to plug in a micro SD card and your rotary roller. You also get a decent amount of workspace. You have 400 millimeters by 390 millimeters to work with your projects. If you're familiar with my reviews, you'll know that I use the same pattern or design. That way you could go back to my other reviews and make a comparison by the artwork. I thought this came out great. It's so nice to see that such a fast machine engraves so well. It's because of that small spot size that they were able to achieve. There's not a lot of smoke damage on the back, if not any. And look how consistent this engraving is. Next I wanted to see how well it can cut some really thick leather. This is 11 ounce leather. This is about as thick that I'll ever need to really engrave or cut. It's amazing how well that 48 watts is able to cut and so quickly too. I'm a fan of deep engraving, and I love how this came out. There's no banding, the detail is excellent, there's really no smoldering, there's no smoke damage. I'm very happy with the way this came out.
This is Basswood, and once again, this laser did an excellent job. See how those letters just slid out like that? There's no smoke damage. It did all this in one pass. Very happy with the outcome here. This is beech. This is a pretty hard wood. I slowed the machine a little bit down compared to the basswood, but once again it came out excellent. Um, I'm not used to cutting things this deep, but uh, so uh, I've been really thrilled with this. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this laser. I'm going to have to start using acrylic. I love how that white came out on the black acrylic. It looks great. It cut out really nicely. I used 180 speed and 90% power. And I'm definitely happy with the outcome here. Definitely going to have to start using acrylic on my projects. So yeah, overall, I really like this machine. It's not just going to get boxed up and forgotten. It's going right on my workbench, and I'm definitely going to keep using it. The 48 watt cutting power is excellent. It cuts clean and fast. And what really surprised me is how good the engraving is at 24 watts. They managed to get a really small spot size out of a high powered laser. And that makes a big difference when you're doing detailed work. Now I can get high detailed engravings done way faster than I could with my 10 watt laser. I also love the fact that it comes fully enclosed with a ton of built in safety features and the Core XY motion system gives it that CNC style precision, especially for circles and curves. Another feature I really appreciate is the built in camera, which lets you line up your artwork directly to the material inside Lightburn. Super helpful when positioning matters. I was able to get the laser itself working over my network on Windows, which is great, but just a heads up, the camera is USB native, so you'll need to keep it plugged in via USB if you want to use that feature. That's not a flaw, most laser cameras are designed this way, it's just something to be aware of. So if you're looking for a machine that's powerful, accurate, and actually safe to use in a normal workspace, 
this one's worth checking out. Just a quick note before I wrap up, and this applies to just about any laser. If you go to set up and it's not powering on and not responding, make sure you've turned the key and released the emergency stop button. It sounds obvious, but it's easy to forget, and it can save you a lot of time before calling tech support, only for them to tell you, hey, turn on the key. And with that note, once again, everyone, thanks very much. I hope this video was uh, concise for you. I try not to ramble on too much, you know, like I'm doing right now. So with that said, thank you very much. If you don't mind liking this video, that would be truly helpful. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. In either way, let's treat each other well and have a great every day. Talk to you later. Peace.